Hi, welcome to fourth chapter in CSS3. This video is brought to you by Ang Pro Training. In this video, we are going to discuss CSS3 background. For latest update, please subscribe our channel. Background CSS allows you to add multiple background images. In CSS background, we can add color and alter the size of images. You can say in CSS, we can add multiple colors as desired. Image size also can be varied and we can add any kind of image files such as JPG, PNG. This makes the background very effective and user attractive. Background property Background image Specifies one or more background images for an element. Background position You can specify the position of the background as well like top, left, center, that kind of position. Background size Specify the size of the background images. Background repeat. You can repeat your background. You can repeat the image also. Background attachment. Background origin. Specifies where the background image is or positionized. Background clip. Specifies the painting area of the background. Background color. You can use as a background as a color. So these are all some important background property. Syntax. Background is a shortened property and values are you can pass color or URL or any numbers like PX or percentage length. Example background image I just taken as a property and URL image.jpg is a value. Background size is a property and 100 PX is a value. Background repeat is a property and no repeat is a value. It's a no repeat is a keyword. Background for cross browser. If you are using Mozilla browser, then you, you need to use like a Moz background clip. If you are using Chrome browser, you can use like a WebKit. You need to use before that background property, you need to use WebKit. For Mozilla browser, you need to use before the background property, you need MOZ. For Opera browser, you can you need to use O there before the background. So these are all some cross browser background property. So this is our output will look like if you are using the background property. So let's see how we'll get this kind of output. Let's go for the code demo. For the code demo, I'm going to open my Visual Studio code. And in there, I'm going to add new file. As a name of background HTML. and I'm adding the HTML tag here. After adding the HTML tag, I am entering here on the P tag. In P tag, I'm using lorem 20. And before the P tag, I need to use as a borders. I need some borders for this tag. So I'm using a uh, style attribute sorry style tag so so here I am using style tag p is a tag name and here I am going to pass height width and padding I want height like a 200 px width I want here 300 px padding 10 px margin I want 10 px float left and I want border 20 px dashed and color should be blue. So this is I just taken as a border. So let's see the output for this. I just copy path. Okay, let's paste here. And this is our output like normally. If I'm just taking the border as a dash, that sense coming as a dash and it's a 20 px. We are just taken for the border. And I just given the padding and margin also here. So height and width. Okay, so let's apply one by one that our 
background property so right now I am using the I am giving the ID for this pit element uh, let me give us ID color ID is equal to color so let me apply style for this hash color background color I am using here is a property and I am giving the color as a chocolate color okay let's see the output for this if I refresh you'll see the background is fully chocolate color so this is a one of the one of the property using the color background color if you want to set any background color then you can use the property as a background color okay so likewise I just copy this and I'll uh, paste here and I'll just give us a name of image this ID name is a image and let me just apply the property for this also before that I need to just add a style image style I am just taking here because I given ID name as an image and I am using image background image background image is a property and as we know URL we need to take and URL in that I am just passing already I have an image some images in our folder okay so I am just taking this image like a I I am images dot jpg so once I take let's see the output I just save this file let's see the output here see our image is reflecting right now it's a flower image single flower image let me show you the image see this is a single image okay that image is uh, sitting in the background so I want uh, repeatedly that image so I'm using the properties a background repeat background repeat is a property I use the background repeat is a property and I'm using the keyword is repeat if I using the keyword repeat if I save this and if you see the output the output should be still repeating because we are not update the size I need to update the size right now background background size and I want size is a 50 px I'm using size of 50 px if I see the output here see it's repeating if I using the size size is 50 px of the image and it's repeating but I want this image should be in like contain a uh, image clip like a background clip I'm using here as a property in this we have a, like a border box contain box okay so I'm using as a contain box right now if I'm using as a contain box so let's see the output see it's coming uh, inside that border it's nothing but contain box so image is repeating inside the contain box so if I show you instead of repeat round is a keyword let's see the output it sees total stretching properly and it's round shape right now okay. so this is a content box so let me show you border box if I use border box here and the output is look like see it's total stretching there outside also if you see in the border also its image is available so that is a property of the border box keyword and content uh, box keyword is inside that image and I'm just using this as a repeat only so let's see the output again so right now it's a content box image okay so as as it is let me just take in so one more example for this this copy here let me paste and let's give us a name of image one so same thing I'm going to copy from here I paste it here and instead of image I'll use image one okay and I, I'll use here multiple image you can use multiple image also so for that I'm just taking your giving comma 
and I'm giving a URL and inside the URL I'm just passing I have a, like a holy.jpg this image I'm passing here holy.jpg I'm using this image here and same image repeat I'm just taking for this image I'm just taking as a space okay and for a holy image I'm just taking as a repeat and same I'm using 50px for the this image I'm using the content box same as it is and for the holy image I'm using border box so it will come outside the border okay outside the content it will come so let's uh, save this and if I refresh see here I will able to see this image also like image or jpg this is a holy image and uh, one more thing here you can see able to space is there because we are using the keyword is space for the background repeat property and repeat this image is repeating this holy image is repeating but this image is a space space is because of the size of the 50px okay this is the border like if you can able to see this is a color property this is a content box we are taken and this is a, we are taken content box for this image with a space space background repeat and for this holy image we are taken like a repeat and border box so likewise let me just copy one more and let me just take one more paragraph and let me just give as a name of image 2 and here hash image 2 I am taking background image property URL I am using here a small dot jpg after that background repeat I am using here background repeat so you can use as a x axis also you can repeat in the x axis you can repeat as a y axis also these images okay so let me show you one by one I just taken as a x axis here so save and if you see the output right now see image is repeating x axis only because a single image okay let me before the show you the image if I am not using this one okay our image should be like this one see this is a single image I used here but the output is repeating x axis it's repeating the x axis so I want repeating the y axis and I need to give as a keyword of the repeat dash y here and save let's see the output if I refresh in the y axis so it's a repeating the axis and y axis but I, right now if I take it as a repeat here so you can see the output right now it's repeating continuously okay so but what I'm going to show here I want no repeat no no repeat so no need to repeat the image so the output will be low display like see it's a single okay and I want this image as a background position I want as a position here and center I want this image in the center position okay so see the output here the image will come and sit in the center position if I am using here instead of center if I am using top the image will be sit in the, this top this is top okay so let me use a right here the top right bottom left it's come like this image and this is center and I want to just uh, supply multiple value I just giving the 40 px and the 20 px if I give this kind of multiple values and let's see see it's a uh, top little bit you can see it's moving here if I'm just increasing this into 60 let's see see it's 60 it's going bottom side okay it's going bottom and this is a x-axis is a y-axis okay if I increase this as a 80 and see the output 
say it's going slowly increasing this x axis increasing it's a y axis vertical and horizontal you can say this is a horizontal way this is a vertical way so this is our output we can use some of the properties we are using a background image background repeat background size background clip and background position we are using some properties so this is the output for the background subscribe to our channel like us on facebook follow us on twitter join our group on linkedin thank you